You're watching Global News. Well, I guess it's the uh, calm before the storm here in the parking lot of Global Halifax, expecting some snow and some rain in the next 24 hours, but not too bad. A great morning to actually try mushing for the first time, something I haven't done in four years on this show. It's all going to the dogs here this morning at uh, Global News Morning. This weekend, Martok Ski Resort is the place to be for the East Coast Mushing Jamboree. Racers and dogs from uh, many provinces are going to be on hand, competing in events like ski joring, kick sledding, and also canny cross as well. So we're pleased to welcome the gang from East Coast Mushing to the parking lot of Global Halifax, joined by Kurt, is it Repshell? Yes. Kurt, Kurt. Repshell, and also Shelly Repshell and Marley Repshell. Guys, good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah. Good morning. Yes, good morning. We had a, a gentleman on last week who was doing the uh, Iditarod in the dog sled racing, and we've kind of been interested in it now for the past few days. And then this comes around, East Coast Mushing Jamboree. So uh, before we get into that, tell us a bit about East Coast Mushing in general, Kurt. Well, basically, East Coast Mushing is a group of people who get together, and we just enjoy our dogs, or our companions, who go outside, and we enjoy the trails and we just mush on a micro scale it makes it accessible to people to be able to get involved in the sport wow. how long have you been doing that uh our family's been involved for what seven years six or seven six or seven yeah years. Okay. yep excellent yeah. shelly who do you have here in marley with you i have blossom beside me she's a nova scotia dock taller and we also have willow she's a lab husky mix beautiful how many dogs do you need to actually pick up mushing well, really, it's you only need one dog to, okay. to do it on a micro scale, and uh, some people use two. Excellent. Yeah. So what can people expect from the East Coast Mushing Jamboree coming out this weekend? Well, we have lots of events planned. It's a two-day event, and so on the first day, we're going to have um, kick sledding with one, two, and four dogs, ski joring with one or two dogs, and also we're going to have a candy cross race. So that's where people are going to race with their dogs hooked up to a harness to, on their waist, and they're going to run through the snow. Unbelievable. Yeah, I had never heard of this until about a week ago. How big is the mushing scene around Nova Scotia, Marlon? It's really starting to grow. Uh, our group was formed just to kind of get people from all the provinces together, and it's starting to really take off. Shelly, for people who are just going to try it for the first time this weekend, what should people know, like myself? I'm actually going to try mushing in just a couple of minutes, I think, but uh, what should people know? Uh, well, people should know um, that anybody's quite capable of doing it, and just to get started, all you need is a, a harness and a line and just teaching them some basic commands uh, like doing their line out and their woes to stop and and the more you work with them, uh, the faster they'll catch on. Okay, I'm going to get suited up in just a second and get on this bike and I'm going to be dragged, not dragged, <laughs> excuse me, very bad word to say, pulled, pulled <laughs> by these dogs uh, down the parking lot and my wife is watching at home, I am going to wear a helmet, don't worry about it, my shoulder feels fine. Uh, what can you tell us before about the sled behind us and uh, what, what do we have here set up, uh, Kurt? Yeah, well basically right here, Marley, we wanna, right here we have a kick sled and this is something that's very light so the dogs are easily able to pull it. They're also very affordable for people who wanna get into the sport. Okay. And uh, we're used to seeing larger sleds for the Iditarod, but these are very lightweight. They're kick sleds so you can actually, you can propel them without a dog. Okay. Yeah. But you would need snow kind of underneath to make this happen. So. Snow makes it a lot easier for sure. Which is why Martok, of course, is gonna be great for you guys. Yeah, yeah the Nordic trails at Martok have snow year round guaranteed and we're guaranteed to have snow for the event. Yeah. So uh, no matter what, the event's going on. And the nice thing about this type of mushing is we can do it year round and that's where the bikes and scooters and stuff come into it as well. Excellent. So in the summer, fall, months we can still mush with our dogs. Okay. Well, we got about two minutes until I'm gonna hop on the bike here. Tell us a bit about East Coast Mushing. If people want to find out more information, where can they find you guys? Yeah, well there's two places you can go. You can go to um, the website eastcoastmushing.com and that has all the information about the event itself. And also you can go to uh, on Facebook you can find us at East Coast Mushing. Just search that right. and you'll find our page. And this is a family affair. I know you guys are all family here, but it's a family friendly event this weekend too, right? It's a very friendly, family friendly event for sure. There's uh, lots of people that are coming. Uh, during the Saturday we're going to have a mushing experience for kids as well. So if you want to come out and have a look and watch and see what it's all about, it's free to attend and kids get a chance to hop on a kick sled and be pulled around by the dogs. Okay. I'm going to get pulled around by the dogs right now. Kurt, you hold this mic. Absolutely. If something happens to me, you're reading the news at 8.30 with Andrea. I'll try. <laughs> Tell me what I need to know here, guys. Uh, what do I need to know, Kurt? Well, Shelly, you, you might want to help me. Yeah, here. sure. You're the bike tour expert. <laughs> All right, once you hop on your bike, um, what you want to do is give a command line out to Willow and 
Hold on your brakes, and then once you're ready to go, you're going to tell her, get up, and she'll pull forward. Line out to start, and then get up, and what stops it? Whoa. <laughs> That's what we taught her. Okay, we're taking a break. East Coast Mushing Jamboree is at Martok this weekend. Don't forget to check it out. Bring your family as well. Great way to wrap up March break. Here we go. We are mushing in the parking lot of Global Halifax. What am I saying again? Get up. Line up. Yep, and get up. Get up. <laughs> Oh, you did a good job. See you, <laughs>